Hello, this is Rhinosaurus here, and I'm going to show you today how to make a Psytrance bass sound that I've used in this track here with the uh, Razor synth that comes with Reactor. So I'll just give you a demo of the sound now. Real sort of clicky saw bass. So uh, Razor is a pretty easy synth to use. What I'm going to do is just uh, drop a copy of Reactor there. Head over to Player. Just load up a Razor. And um, just quickly, I'm going to drop over this original MIDI channel. I'll just turn off the old one. I'll just copy over the MIDI pattern and loop that. With Command L, we'll do that with a shortcut. So that's pretty horrible. What I'm going to do now is go over to Aerosmith number nine, and uh, the initialize patch is just up the top there. So now I'm going to hit play. More or less an initialize sine wave, uh, saw wave, sorry. I'm just going to get rid of all these envelope settings. There you go, you can hear it's a pretty crappy saw wave now. Alrighty, but um, I'm going to drop it down an octave. And I'm um, just start now by opening up this cutoff. You can turn it off for now. Actually, I'm going to bring that back up for now while I tune the sound initially. All right, let's turn this filter back on. I'm going to turn the res down to its neutral state, which is zero there. Um, everything has its own envelopes, like width and slip here. Slope here just gives you another envelope control over the, uh, the low pass filter here. So I'll pull this down. You can see what uh, the slope does here on this uh, visual thing up here. Just rolling off frequencies. But I'll leave that somewhere around there for now. I'm going to pull the cutoff down, go over here to the envelope sends. If you click on this little minus symbol, you'll get all your envelope and uh, modulation options up here. So I'm just going to click envelope 2, send it all the way over there. Now this envelope is controlling that cutoff. <clears throat> so I pull it down now. You can hear it's just some real clicky stuff. Add a bit more decay there, maybe pull the cutoff a bit more. And you control how clicky you want with uh, either the cutoff and the decay or also this envelope send amount. If you just turn that down a bit, it'll sort of deaden it a bit. But yeah, I'm going to drop this down into the octave of the uh, that I want it in, which is one lower. Sounds nice and chunky down low. And um, there's a few other options in Razor which can sometimes be handy for getting your bass sounding nice. It's got this safe bass set option which uh, I'm pretty sure just takes a split of your bass frequencies and uh, gives you further control over it. So you can hear it's really pushed too hard and muddy. Bass level amount. I'm going to pull that right down and just bring it up so it's a, a minor thing that just contributes to the overall sound. Don't want to overpower it. And uh, you notice here it also got slope, so it's got just uh, yet another envelope control for, uh, for how quickly it's cut off. Um, the limiter in Razor can sound quite nice for uh, adding a bit more dirt to your sound. So if I'll turn the drive up, you can see you've got your <coughs> excuse me gain reduction meter down the bottom. Add a bit of dirt, a bit of drive. And I might just pull this down a little bit now. Yeah, let's maybe have a listen to how that sounds with a kick. <coughs> Pretty chunky. And uh, once I layer it up, chuck a compressor on there. Just take that input from the kick and it'll sound much tighter. Where's my kick drum here? 
There we go. Compare that to the original. My original's a bit punchier, but um, still a cool sound. Razor can give you quite a nice side bass sound pretty easily. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my tutorials. Go to rhinosaurus.com. Cheers.